Hey, Deirdre Burnett here, founder of LifeCoachNation.life. I wanted to jump on again and continue to speak a little bit on this book, Culture That Kills. It is a book that I penned in 2015. It took me like seven years to write this book. <laughs> During the time I was like in the marriage and everything, and I was going through like all kind of stuff, but I was able to still complete and get the job done. And um, I want to talk to you a little bit about it. All right. So, and it is under my pen name, Naomi Watchman. So if you go on Amazon and choose to purchase it, it will be under Naomi Watchman. So I want to read a little bit of the introduction about this dark culture, this culture that kills. And um, it is a book about um, seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. It, I asked here, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? And actually, that's a scripture in Galatians 3 and 1. All right, so there is a dark culture stalking the children of God Elohim. A culture that kills. A culture whose tongues are sharpened like a serpent and under their lips is adder's poison. This culture infested with evil and violent men imagine mischiefs in their hearts and are continually gathered together for war. The hands of these wicked violent men have set a snare and are purposed to overthrow your goings. This culture has killed in the past, is presently killing in the now, and balances systematically on course with prophecy to kill again in the future. This dark culture attends any chance to ravage and strip individuals of the grace that is in Christ Jesus and manipulate the children of God Elohim back into the bondage of law works where there is no justification. Be warned that this culture is a spiritual serial killer, killing young and old alike. The aim of the culture that seeks to kill the children of God is to distort the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Jesus. For he that receives the testimony attests that God is true. That's John 3:33. For he that receives the testimony attests that God is true. So as a side note, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. All right. And it says, for he that receives the testimony attests that God is true. There is a, there is a, a massive campaign against the name of Jesus. There it, it's massive. Okay. Because this culture that kills wants to like digress the name of Jesus because the, the Holy Scriptures teaches us that he that receives the testimony attests that God is true. Okay, so whenever you receive the testimony of Jesus, that's whenever you are attesting that God that God is true. Okay, so if you reject that name, then you're rejecting the testimony. You are rejecting the testimony. You got to get this. You got to like see what the, the dark kingdom, this culture that kills is trying to do to the children of God. They're trying to get you to reject the, 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 the testimony and you're going to automatically be in error. Okay. So my writing goes on to say, holy men inspired of God contend to preserve it. The testimony of Jesus while the seed of Satan and his covens strive to destroy it. There is power in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus is redemption, the forgiveness of sin. In the blood of Jesus is healing. In the blood of Jesus is life. We are now under the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. In the blood of Jesus is the testimony, the testament, Emmanuel, God with us, the righteous servant whom God elected and has put his spirit upon that we may know, believe, and understand that Jehovah is God. 
Jesus the Christ is he that was sent to restore fellowship back to the Father. Jesus is exalted, extolled, and is very high. Jesus' mission bore iniquity and justified many. We who fear the Lord are to obey the voice of his servant. To discredit the power in the blood that was shed is to deceptively make Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, of no effect. To discredit the work of Jesus Christ, the sacrificial lamb on the cross at Calvary and tanked his gospel is to create a huge abyss of error. And the enemy of our creator is on a vicious rampage, rampage to do this very thing. Inject error. All right. And I'm a, um, the culture that kills has been on its killing spree for ages. Bewitching the hearts and minds of countless ill-prepared and unskilled contenders. The culture that kills has been fattened by the souls of so many of our brothers and sisters who have moved out of the hedge of God's protection and foolishly sought solace in their own reasoning. Many of our fallen brethren remain captive behind enemy lines in need of deliverance and freedom. However, so many more of our fallen brethren are behind enemy lines, indoctrinated, converted back to the dark side, and are now assigned to ravage you. And now assigned to ravage me. Okay? <laughs> they are, they, that we, the children of God, must discern and guard ourselves against, lest we become lest we be overcome by error. Brethren, it's time to know the difference. It's time to wake up and take each man their own position on the battlefield. All right? This culture that kills is real. There is a culture out there that's trying to ravage you, that's trying to destroy you, that's trying to destroy me. All right, so you got to wake up. It's time to wake up and become that good soldier in the battle of the Lord. All right, so I don't want this video to get too long. So again, my name is Deirdre Burnett, and I am the founder of Life Coach Nation. Life. We are a nation of peculiar people. All right, a royal priesthood unto the Lord. All right. And my mandate, my mandate is to go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. All right. What the Lord tells me, that will I say. Okay. That will I do. All right. So again, you know, head on over to my website and check it out and please like and subscribe. And until we meet again, thank you.